What do you desire? Money and wealth? Honor and pride? Authority and power? Revenge? Or something that transcends them all? The legend spoke of a boy that went up a certain tower, not going after any of that, rather only to find out more about himself, build relationships, and chase after a certain girl. That's his story, and I'm here to bear witness to this legend. This is my Tower of God catch-up journey. Pam's mother, and she has the name Grace. Juvile Grace? Yo, oh my god, bro. What am I witnessing here, bro? Arlene Grace. Arlene, I've heard that name. Arlene, I've heard that name of somewhere before. This is the place that FUG took me from. Arlene. That does sound mad familiar. Arlene, I've heard that name somewhere before. That's right, the place that FUG took me from. Plus, Grace is the name that FUG gave me. What does she mean that she's the one that brought me into this world? That's your mom, guy! When you say that you brought me into this world, do you mean she's my mother? Well, how should I explain this? Could you really call her a mother? I'm not so sure about that. Okay, no, so she's not a mother. She's been here longer than I have, so I'm not sure about the exact details. What I'm sure is that she played a crucial role in bringing you to ill oh, into this place, specifically into the tower. She was one of the irregulars who entered the tower along with the ten great family leaders. But right now, there are only ten family leaders. That's right, but actually, there used to be thirteen of them. Although, there are only eleven now. Why would Jihad have bothered to split the thirteen-month series into thirteen pieces? Some legends say that one year in his hometown is thirteen months. Then, But then, there must be a separate reason for splitting the key into thirteen pieces to begin with. And it's natural to name that the thirteen-month series, right? The 13 months that were split up so that Jihad and his 12 companions could share the key, one of them is our lead grace. There were supposed, there were originally supposed to be 12 leaders, not 10. A hidden irregular. I, I didn't believe that she existed even when Anne mentioned her existence. I figured that it was probably a delusion created by her insane mind. Anne said that if, that I would find out every, er, about everything if I find the pocket that she hid. I broke through the Jihad family's obstacles and finally managed to find that pocket. It was only after seeing that what, what was inside that pocket that I realized that what Anne said wasn't a delusion or a lie. Because that pocket was the very same one used by Arlene Grace. Inside that pocket there was a diary safe, which one, which was, oh, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting legit chills right now, bro. It was written by Arlene herself. I don't know, who, I don't know from whom Anne received that, but she was a real person. Arlene Grace. The diary, the diary said that she entered the tower with ten leaders on an extraordinary journey and that she could use mysterious spells. From the very start, Jihad and a crush on her, but her, but her heart actually lay somewhere else. The man whom she loved was yet another hidden companion. Arlene called him by the affection name, by the affectionate name B. So, so Jihad was jealous, bro? Jihad had a crush on her, but she wanted this V dude, bro. Your new name, oh my God. Bro, it's like, it's like, yo. Viola probably comes from that person's name. He was a warlord whom Luslik, the current head of FUG, Luslik, the current head of FUG, once served. Bro, what is going on? Yo, this is madness, bro. This is like everything I've ever wanted to know about the story is hitting me at once. As the two of them climbed the tower, they confirmed their love for one another and began their relationship. And at the end of their great journey, Jihad announced that he would stop climbing the tower and become king. B and Arlene, who wanted to keep climbing the tower, criticized Jihad. Arlene expressed Jihad in her records as being blinded by falsehoods, but Jihad didn't stop. He made a deal with the administrator out to become the king of this tower, and after that, he found Arlene and proposed to her. But Arlene was already engaged to V. Arlene refused Jihad's marriage proposal and ran away with V. And the two of them formed an organization which, which opposed Jihad and started a war in order to steal the key which Jihad had. No way. They started FUG, didn't they? They started FUG, bro. Arlene refused Jihad's marriage. The two of them formed an organization which opposed Jihad and started a war in order to steal the key which Jihad had. 
shall had also arranged in front of in the process there were many conflicts even among the ten leaders but there aren't many details of, um, about the aspects in Arlene's pocket what I know for sure is that the ten leaders sided with Jihad for some reason and ultimately B and Arlene lost the war and became fugitives and as she ran away with Arlene's body you know life was waiting to be born you mean that baby was no come on man stop with the ten with ten percent that child was murdered by Jihad So that child is, isn't, isn't Bam. Having heard the rumor, go, my, my, my thinking thing is at 10%, bro, this is getting too good. Having heard the rumors that she had a child, Jahad tracked down a child and killed it right in front of Arlene's eyes not long before I was born. In her pocket, that incident is described in terms of extreme loathing and resentment. After that incident, parts of her records are not normal. Naturally, she could not go on living with her sanity intact. Ultimately, the sense of loss of losing a child and her wrath towards Jahad seemed to have driven her insane. Unable to handle all this, she tried to make suicide several times, but she was already immortal, like the ten leaders could she couldn't even, even die. But V was different. For some reason he he did he doesn't appear to have made a deal for immortality. For God's sake, man. Unable to stand the sight of Arlene losing her mind until he took his own life. He left Arlene with a suicide note saying say stating, Forget everything. Return to our companions and live happily. Probably did not return until ten leaders in jihad. She tried to escape. She tried to find a way to escape from this tower and wander the tower alone for a very long time. She appeared to have wandered around here and there in the tower. She used the magic to keep her child's body from rotting and carry the body and keepsake from V around with her. She believed there would be a way to bring the child back to life if she could make it outside. And at the very end of her diary, she wrote this. I have finally found a way to get out of this place. A place without Jihad or the administrator. I don't know where that place will be. As long as I can see the vast sky and shining stars, which are so much like my own home, it doesn't matter. Yo, like what Rachel wants. But even if I was leaving this place, I could not let go of the longing for my love and the pity for my dead child. So I decided to offer this child's body to the God on the outside. So that God's power will enter this dead child's body and awaken him again. That child will open the door and return to this tower someday. He shall achieve vengeance for my love and finish the war which we started with my own hands. So he shall destroy corrupt power and bring truth to the tower. God's messenger shall place the red thorn in that child's hands. And that child shall use the red thorn to cut the throat of the greedy king. And they shall find the hidden key to open the door and lead everyone in the tower to great heights. You are the child in that prophecy. Juvile grace. Yo. What is going on, bro? John and the Ten Leaders did everything that they could to erase all records of Arlene and you. Any structures and records concerning her were destroyed, and even the records and memories of artificial life stored in the workshop were fabricated. It appears that not even that is enough to change destiny. Her records remain here even to this day, and now you have appeared even before me. You were destined to come to this place. Yo, and then you see Rachel, bro. Dog, what was that that I just read, bro? That was some legit in. I mean, in from. I mean, that, that was that was some of the most goat info dump. God Almighty, dog! That suitcase was so uncomfortable being stuck in there for so long. Sorry, Rachel. We were passing through a dangerous spot, so I let you out a bit late. It's all right. White. This is the first time we met in person. I'm Karaka, the new Slayer. You bastard! You arrogant little punk! I dare you mess around with me while pretending to help me. Are you looking down on me because I lost position as a Slayer? White, there is a way to revive your power here on the floor of death. I don't want to let details leak, so could I talk to you in private? Oh, sure, let's go. You know, you're actually a pretty decent guy. <laughs> this man's a troll, bro. I didn't think there would be a slayer on the train. I was seriously so surprised. Same here, I wonder how this happened. But I mean, is something wrong? You're just more skilled at tidying than you look. Thanks for the compliment. I've been used to cleaning and tidying since I was a child. Don't get the wrong idea. I was insulting you, not complimenting you. So thank you for showing interest in me. I'm not interested in you, it's just all I want to know is why a nice kid like Viola will be following you around. Nice, you say, that's true. He really is nice, that boy, and I'm bad. You're so twisted. It's true, isn't it? I'm a bad person. Rachel's such a fascinating character, man. As you wanted to at least keep this thing, this, this kind of thing from Bam. You wanted to pretend to be a nice person after killing them, and people dream on. You're right, that's pushing it a bit. I'm done for now. You're seriously a psycho. You really don't seem sane. What on earth are you going to such trouble to gain? Money? Power? Do you want to become a Dark Lord or something? 
No, what I want is simply a blue sky, countless stars, and a cold breeze. That ridiculously beautiful view, which that person wanted for the entire life. If only I may be able to see that sight myself, I would be satisfied with that. Now that I saw, um, just on this, it showed that Jihad had like blondish hair, right? Is Rachel like a descendant of Jihad? Like a, like a legit descendant? Like direct? I don't know. What are you talking about? That person, you don't need to know. Arlene, I don't care. What? Arlene, Arlene, I don't care what Bam is to you. I'm the one from the legend who will obtain the thorn and make your wish come true. It has to be me. How does she know that? Give me a sec, man. I managed to refrain myself, man. I um went and I charged it for a good 30 minutes. I went and I charged the camera for a good 30 minutes, but I think it's good enough. I've been staring at the screen of Rachel saying, if only I may be able to see that sight myself, I'll be satisfied with and I'm glad that I took those little 30 minutes to myself because it just allowed me to digest absolutely everything that I've read up until this point. You know what I'm saying? Like in the past couple of chapters, nothing but madness. Madness, dog. Let's get right into it, man. A person, Arlene, I don't care what Bam is to you. I'm the one from the legend who will obtain the thorn and make your wish come true. It has to be me. Is a way for me to revive here? Hurry up and tell me. Yes, White. The source of your power is definitely souls. Even without clones, as long as you have the power of numerous souls, you could break free from the shackles on you, on you now, right? Of course, at the height of my power, I can beat any imitation spell cast by some silly regulars. Actually, here on the floor of death, there is a place called the Spirit Room, where the souls of every living, of every living on the floor of death are hidden. There are at least tens of thousands of souls there, including the souls of rankers. If you were to obtain those souls, and you see Hulk and he starts laughing, Karaka, tell me more about that in more detail. You go back to hell, Joe. He's like he's watching the news again. You're the one who doesn't seem to understand. One of them is able to get you out of this place, you fool. What do you guys think about what he's saying? It's nonsense that he's saying he's that he's saying to take advantage of us. Pay no attention to him, Master Joe. Army Commander Sanchez the Piercer. I think so too, Master Joe. It seems like a lie. Army Commander Charlotte the Temptress. I love that name so much. Charlotte the Temptress, man. I disagree. There is no reason to have, to have absolutely no faith in what he's saying. Perhaps we should give him a chance. Army Commander Will caught the windy. That's right. If they are, are lying, we can deal with that later, right? Army Commander Fabregas the bloody. Master Joe, I would at least entertain the possibility this is a chance that we cannot afford to miss if he is telling the truth. Army Commander Sasong the traitor. If he really is telling the truth, then this is definitely not an opportunity that I should miss. But it also wouldn't wouldn't be good to allow myself to be tempted by his promise and go running after them myself. Because I'm a higher priority than FUG. Plus, judging from the fact that they've disappeared, they must have gone to the North City. You know, <laughs> what is this man reading here, bro? You reading some My Hero? Is there a way to catch them easily without making myself look a fool? Or I'm just said I'm going go to go to, to attack his castle. I'm going to go beat him and recover the Holy Sword. That's it. I have a good idea. Use the holes to send out a message across the entire hell floor in an instant. If you want the thorn fragment, come and attack Hell Joe's castle. What? Tell them that I have the thorn fragment so they have so they have to come here and fight me. I'll go for whoever beats me the thorn fragment. Then they'll come here on their own in order to get the thorn fragment. But we don't have the thorn fragment. It's alright, just it's just bait to lure them here anyway. We don't need it. Tell FUG to, persi to participate if, as well if they want the Thorn Fragment. This is my chance to really teach them a lesson. If they lose here, not even they will be able to demand the Thorn Fragment from me anymore. I want you guys to participate too. Little look at this face, man. Wipe, we're going to wipe out all of the outsiders as soon as they show up here in the source of the Thorn. We're going to leave this place and rule the tower. Yuri and Evans, the team. Oh man, bro, here we go, bro. Yeah, I've been waiting for some Yuri greatness. How much further do we have to go? It feels like we've been walking for ages. I'm sweating hard, Skip. Here, this is our Red Witch Guide's secret place. That Galstone village. It's huge. Galstone. Follow me, I'll lead you to Huaryun. There's no need to lead us, kid. I'll lead them from here. You can go. 
Why do you need? Yo, she's back. Why do you? Why did you disappear by yourself? Yes, right. Go on, and that was so unfair. Follow me. I have something. I have something to tell you about hell, Joe. What do you think? How do you feel about he about hearing about yourself? I'm not sure. It just sounds so surreal to me. I can't understand where Bam's coming from, bro. But you came to this place. Didn't you feel a sense of longing when you entered here? Like a feeling that you were home? All right, to imagine this place, it felt like I had come home. Because this is the place where Arlene gave birth to you and raised you. The place where she gave birth to me and raised me. That's right. Perhaps that's why Jihad built his own altar here after he, she disappeared. Jihad was unusually obsessed with Arlene. He even built a shrine for worshipping himself here in the land that Arlene cherished. He made his followers flock to it. But as if unable to forgive him for defiling this land like that, he, also, he appeared suddenly and turned this tower's Shinsu red. Enryu. <laughs> you will be wanting to find out more about this Enryu character for so long, bro. The messenger from God who came he to deliver the thorn to you. Enryu, bro. Chapter 241. Look at this, Hockney. This must be this giant bug's eye. We're looking out at the snow through its eyes. This is the place where Arlene gave birth to and raised you, but after she disappeared, Jihad turned this place into a shrine for worshipping himself. He, it, he appears to have tried to erase any traces of you from here, the place that she loved. But unable to forgive this land being defiled like that, he appeared. And Ryu. Yo, but I gotta save this battle, bro. Let me screenshot that. Look at Henry. And that day, a red rain fell from the sky here. Hey, shout out to Red Rain, man. The comic that uh, that Moose and I, uh, well, I should say Moose created, but um, that, that I edited, man. Shout out to Red Rain. Shout out to Red Rain, baby. But uh, anyways, and that day, Red Rain fell from the sky here. When he appeared here, the first thing that he said was, "Only those who believe in the false king will remain here and face death." Yo. Only those who believe in the false king will remain here and face death. Hearing what Enryu said, everyone was flustered, but could sense that this was no ordinary person. Many people left this place, but Jihad's fanatical followers started attacking Enryu. And you see, then countless spears made of Ren Shinsu fell on the battlefield. Look at this, bro, it's a massacre! Then the people who had tried to attack Enryu could withstand his attack and dropped to the ground like flies. Yo! As soon as Enryu had swept all, uh, away all of his, the fanatics, finally the enraged administrator of this floor appeared before Enryu. But not even the administrator could defeat him easily. The massive administrator changed his appearance while fighting him. But the administrator's blood and flesh, which we thought were indestructible, immortal and invincible, were viciously ripped and torn apart by Enryu's attacks. Yo, Enryu was a true top tier, bro. Not even his mysterious ability to freely control his Shinsu on this floor wasn't of any use against Enryu. During their fight, all of the mountain seas and buildings on this floor were destroyed, and the ground turned red. Ultimately, the administrator was defeated and put to sleep, and the Shinsu here lost its master. For a long time after that, a rain of Shinsu was said to have fallen here, and the world changed. This became known as the Floor of Death. Yo, the backstory to the hidden floor, bro. And you went up in a like swimwear and took care of business. A red rain of shit. And rumors began circling on the tower. A divine thorn able to kill King Jihad. They said that Enryu hid that in this place and then disappeared. Having heard those rumors, refugees started looking for the thorn. But waiting for someone to obtain that thorn and slash King Jihad's throat, I mean. So that's why Fuji gave me the thorn. And the fact that they wanted me they wanted to turn me into a slayer was not simply because of their loathing for Jihad. It was because one of them believed that I'm Arlene's son. So I was destined to become a slayer from the very start? Is my destiny to obtain the thorn and slaking jihad? <sighs> man, bro. It's killing me, man. These things just keep flashing back and forth. You said that you have something to tell us about hell, Joe? This is stuff that we heard from the girl before, not the whole story? Actually, it was only when I came here that I learned about hell, Joe, in detail for the first time. I'm sorry if the angle's weird, guys. I entered the place using a different path from you guys, because the path that I used to enter here is a path that only red witches should know about. I was planning on leading the way if you came in here separately, but the situation changed. So you heard about Hell Joe. Yes, it seems like they want they want to make me fight Hell Joe. And for Bam to obtain a fragment of a thorn or something. 
Actually, it's not act, it's not exactly because of bile that they want to get they want you to get rid of Veljo. As a Red Witch guide, I have a personal grudge towards him. What does she mean by that? Oh my God, this garbage again, man! Come on, please. Let me get back to. Here we go. She has a personal grudge? A grudge, you mean that there are people out there who do things to make guys resent them? This floor has no administrator. Guys without the ability to protect the future are just regular humans. But guides absolutely must travel through the floor of death as a pilgrimage. This place is one of the places for the pilgrimage of red rich guides. We rely on memories that have been passed down for ages to find this place. Silver dwarves and go on pil pil pilgrimages to find to, compl to a completely different place, right? Yeah, the place that I went to was in complete, completely in ruins. But we also know that there is a place like this on the floor of death. Right, the floor of death changed completely after Andrew appeared. Most of the people who were on the floor of death died. It was hard for even the strongest rankers just to survive in the Shinsu without an administrator. But this place alone was lucky. We were lucky to be surrounded by the administrator's body and isolated from the world outside. But the people who survived here had to suffer from aging and lack of food. So they couldn't go outside, because Jihad's army was killing any survivors in the floor of death in order to stop the rumors about Enryu from spreading. Ultimately, Desa and Deja, the high rankers who led this place, found a solution. You know, they, those crowns, man, reminds me so much of Imsama. They used their magic to create a place called the Spirit Room, where they stored the souls of all the citizens, and developed a way for people to live forever without aging. But the people who um, the people under that spell cannot ever leave this place. They decided to stay here forever at the cost of their eternal lives. The people here have spent ages guarding the hole so that they that, that secret would not leak out to the outside world. But everything changed when Joe appeared. He wants to break the spell and leave this place. Ultimately, he drove out Desa and conquered the South City. He even broke the rules of this place and joined forces with an outside power. FUG promised to get him out of here if he worked with some of their agents and gave them the thorn fragments. He went looking for the last fragment of the thorn. And in the end, he even ended up harming a guide who was on a pilgrimage for him. This guide was the predecessor of the girl who brought you here. Hell Joe caught her while on a pilgrimage and pressured her to look for the thorn fragment. When she refused, he stole her vitality and made her suffer a cruel death. A red witch. Wow. It's like Hell Joe didn't know that guide's abilities don't work in this place. That must be why he thought that she would be able to find the, the thorn fragment. Because guides can see their own destiny. The fear nor, nor, nor try to avoid their own death. That's why we accept our fate. But she tried to avoid death. Having been cast by Heljo and dr dragged to his castle, she said to have died while begging Heljo to spare her. Because she was not meant to die here. Heljo, that, that man is defying destiny, bro. What a line to say about someone. Now this is an announcement for the intruders for this palace. I am Heljo, the ruler of the South City. I don't know who, who let you into this place, but I know that you came here because you're after something. Joe, what truth is talking about that, man? And that thing you're looking for is inside my castle. So spare me the game of hide and seek and come fight me. If you enter my castle and defeat both my servants and me, I will give you what I want. If you don't come, I'll give it to FUG. So you had better come get that special something. I hope you guys are strong enough to make this fun for me. That's all. The thorn fragment in his castle? The hell, Joe, what is he talking about? The thing we're looking for is in his castle? Sounds like he's saying that he has a thorn fragment. A thorn fragment in Heljo's castle? It's probably a trap, but I asked you to get rid of Heljo as a favor. If the thorn fragment really is in his castle, that just gives you one more reason to go and fight Heljo. What will you do, Yuri Jihad? He's starting to stop trouble. He's the one who currently rules over the South City. He imprisoned Grand Deja, the old warlord, and made himself leader. I heard that he's working with FUG to get them the thorn, the thorn fragments he's giving them the thorn fragments that's right he's working with FUG and giving them the thorn in order to escape to the outside although he's having a tough time because right now right now because he can't find the last one there's no way that the final gatekeeper told Heljo about you entering here so those ones who enter this place with you must be alive for now shall we shall we let them deal with Heljo what, Hel, what Heljo said just now is a lie the remaining last thorn fragment is here in the north city yo so she knows it's, it's hidden deep inside the spirit room. That makes so much sense, though. Where would you be hidden in the spirit room? It's called spirit room here in the North City. It's a place which contains the souls of everyone on, on the floor of death. Grand Aja, the previous leader of the North City, is defending the spirit room. 
Yo, he seen his position to to grandly and retired, but he's one of the few people who saw Enryu in person. He also knows where the throne fragment is. He's gonna try to test your power. If you pass this test, you'll find out where the final fragment is. Here we go. This is the path into Dejas Castle. Why here? What's this? A memory? Of course, ordinary D-rank regulars couldn't pass this test, but if you're the real deal, after he will acknowledge you and you'll be able to find the thorn fragment. I know that he, I know that you would be confused after hearing what I just told you, but regardless of whatever destiny brought you to this place, it's up to you to decide what path to take. And even if you choose to avoid that destiny and go down a different path, I will not criticize you for it, because that's a massive and difficult burden to bear. No, I'll do it. You're damn right he will, bro. Of course he will. Not because of destiny, but by my own will. Bam walks out. You finally came back out. What were you talking about it so, for, for so long? I'm gonna stop asking people about other people's business. I'm sorry, but from this point on, I think I should go on by myself. Man, bro. I feel like I'm supposed to go in there and look for something, but it seems such a dangerous place. So I don't think I should go in there with you. What in there? Did you just castle? Yes. Can't I go with you too? Huck me. But that place is, I know very well how dangerous it is, but I have this feeling that I should go in there too. That has to be related somewhat to, to his past as well. How can you insane to draw then there? What about your picture? I know I'm going to find the picture, and as you said, I may obtain something even more valuable in there, yo. Could this be Destiny too? Well, alright, if you're going, then I'll go too, Hockney. I've been in there before, so let me lead the way. We've, we've already come this far together, so I wouldn't feel right letting you go alone. It wouldn't be lonely if you went in on your own, wouldn't it? And let's do this together. Okay. The entrance to Hell Joe's castle. Damn it, why, why, why do I have to go hard the entrance myself? Those idiots clearly think I'm, that I'm the weakest. Don't get the wrong idea. I may have been the weakest before, but now with Heljo's power, no one can beat me. I come to think of it, maybe they sent me to guard the entrance because I'm so powerful that I can handle anything. Uh -huh, I don't know what that, maybe that's what you were thinking. He sure made quite an impressive castle. That guy Heljo, so that's where he's hiding, huh? Yo, that's gotta be Yuri, bro. <laughs> Yo, Yuri is gonna take. Yuri is gonna lay the smack it down upon anyone that comes in between her and, and Eldo, bro. Let's get this over with and find Bam. The two of you enter this place alone? Are you insane? Here we go. That's a pretty impressive start. You had better wipe that smell off your face, mortal. Come on, come on. Next page, next page. 242. You better wipe that smell off your face, mortal. That's a pretty impressive smart. Uh, start. Die. Goes right in, you see a massive wave, so it's begun. I wish I wish he would have put me in charge of the entrance. You're Spearman, Sanchez. Spearmen are supposed to stay at a distance, since there's no guarantee that intruders will come into the entrance. Well, so what? It's not like they will die anyway. Don't let your guard down like that. Wait, something's coming. Come on, come on. What's that? A rose vine? It's rising up to the castle. Here we go, that's Sachi. This is as long as my vine can get. Will that be enough? Yes, that's plenty. Looks like Sachi has gotten started. When she ignites, we'll head inside the castle using Bong Bong. One hour later. The Bong Bong greatness, yo. One hour later. Or one, one hour earlier. Well, Alright, we're heading inside this castle right now. Galstone Village. Princess Yuri, we, you, we've already promised to do this. Plus, we have to hurry up and find Bam, too. But there's no... But there's something I need to know before leaving. Based on what you guys told us, you guys must be immortal. So how am I supposed to get rid of them? As I'm sure you're already aware, I couldn't I couldn't even kill a single beetle here. No matter how strong I may be, I can't fight those guys. That's right, to be honest, there's a reason that I'm asking you to help me instead of those other rankers from Refugee. Only the ten family leaders, their immortality is incomplete. Only the ten leaders who made the deal with the administrator, their souls are being used as a medium of their immortality. So the immortality of all of the creatures in this place is simply the result of a spell. Therefore, a weapon that is able to break that spell could kill them. For example, the 13-month series that you have, of course... Is it weapon that can kill them? That's right, pe people from Jaha's family don't know much about spells because they're considered taboo. But spells are a mysterious problem that has existed since the very beginning. There are several laws that govern spells. One is that you cannot violate the rules of a spell once they are set. The second law is that you must receive help from a powerful medium or divine being. The third is that the rank of a spell is determined by the power of the being or medium that help that, that helped with the spell. Some spells can be destroyed or neutralized by higher ranking spells. In that sense, you can see the 13 month series as the ultimate spell item. The enchantment of the 13 month series is a spell so powerful that not even the administrator can break it. If you ignite the 13 month series, you'll be able to break their spell and kill them. They thought that they were immoral, immortal, but when someone suddenly shows up who is capable of killing them, when that happens, the guys who were guarding this castle will be thrown into chaos. 
we'll use that as an opportunity to knock down Hell Joe's protective barrier and help Grande Saw escape from the castle. Here we go, yo. Yo, man. I've been wanting to see Yuri go in for a minute, man. For a minute. When it's open in front of the castle, activate 13 month series and kill the enemy. We'll be completely bewildered and which will weaken the castle security. The other guys will use that chance to release Grande Saw. Previously, we will attack Hell Joe with his help. Even still, I have actually never managed to successfully ignite the 13 month series. <laughs> Yo! What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's right! Remember? In the, in the beginning of the series, whenever, um, whenever Bam was able to ignite it, but not her, the Black March, remember? And like she was arguing with it. With it. You know, that, I, I want to know more about the 13 month series, too, man, because it, there are spirits that are stuck within the uh the the blades themselves like zonpak toe you know what are you doing princess and regulars are here now we're opening in like the 13 month series you have to activate in order to draw their attention evan come to think of it he probably thinks that i've ignited the 13 month series before so just a little baby that's never even ignited, ignited your weapon before stupid did i i ignited my weapon just recently what you would tease me so much for being just a kid whom the 13 month series wouldn't even accept so i ended up lying and then having overheard that by chance the princess probably like with ignition. Give me a bonus. I can't believe it. Her? You know, I'm telling everyone in the castle that I successfully ignited the 13 month series. I'm so screwed. They say that lies only if we get more lies. But how could I how could I have said sorry? I'm actually just an idiot who can't even ignite my weapon before. When they all think I'm a super powerful high ranking princess. <laughs> Yo. I mean, hey, man. Uh, at, at this point, at this point, you, you might as well make them believe. You might as well make them believe that the lie was actually a shoot. With, with so much pomp and now she's running away? Let's not wait, waste more time. I'll finish her off with my full power. Here we go. Yo, yo, I know that jo that Yuri has to activate this now. It's better than not trying. Let bro, bro, look at this. She has two of them, bro. No. Please, ignite! Let's just, let just one of the two awaken. You see, I had a feeling that you were nearby. Smoke? Wait, so it, I was with you? Yo, Black Martian crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Is that her? Hey, hey, uh, the princess? Looks like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> an idiot. Yo, let me, let me put the camera behind me. I, I, I can't stand still. I think there are another two aside from us. I see that uh, the Garam would have, would, have, would have those two. Wait, that day is, isn't coming up soon, is it? That day? What do you mean, what do you mean by that day? And Garam. Hold on, but we have to keep playing around. That's right, our job is to make you fight and hate each other. Since that's the curse that that man placed until that day when our true master will appear and make us one. What? So we'll help you just specially just for today. What? I'd of course you for, for someone who's gathered two of the 13 month series, but there's a condition. You can only borrow power from one of us. And of course will drive you insane if you activate more than two of the 13 month series at once. So you're going to choose one of us. Now, whose power would you like to borrow? Well, obviously, I want both of you. Yo, don't ever try your Jihad again, bro. You heard what she said. If she wants both, give them both. They go, the Sandy can't, 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 can't this. The Sandy can't. Don't try her, bro. Hey, weren't you listening to what I said? I told you you can't handle both of us at once. If someone who, who, who was not chosen tries to handle us both at once, they'll go insane. But it's way cooler to command both of you. You can't stop. It's no use. Can we just give it a try? I'm confident that I can do it. If I handle both of you at once, wouldn't that make me more, way more awesome than my sisters? Would that really be so bad that this could be her chance to experience going nuts? She needs to come her senses anyway. Do you really want to see a repeat of Uram Jihad? Uram. Are you mocking me by just standing there with your weapon out? You see just a whole bunch of madness and chaos. What are you doing, princess? Prophet's destructive urge. You little dwarf. And I guess I won't die. What are you doing, princess? Serpent, ignite it. Princess! Can she not hear me? Something has definitely happened. Now we'll give you one more chance. Choose just one of us, then we'll help you. No. I want both of you. Y'all better listen to my girl, dog. Forget if she's, she's too stubborn to argue with us. She's been like this since I first saw her. So let's just do it. Let's go, bro. It's gonna be bold, dude. There's a chance to teach you a lesson. She dies like this because of her stubbornness. We'll be stuck here. But if you let us go immediately, if you sense danger, I don't want to see you go insane. Okay. Still, shall we get started? Let's start. Come on.
God. We are the 13 month series, a weapon created by a pledge. So the day when our true master appears and we become one, we promise to continue the, 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 the destiny of blood and the curse. This is the cursed power. We will dance as we wait for that day. April green as glass, dazzlingly dark march. Dance gorgeously. An enormous power is pouring out. Ignition! Look at this power, bro! I feel, I feel the hockey blasting me in the face, dog. The 13th month ignition. Ooh, ooh, what the, who the hell's that? You're wasted in Joss Castle if you just keep this way. Oh my god. It's like every time, every time. Who did you pass the Joss test? You'll be able to do it. Right. Uh, and I'll give you this pocket now since I don't need it. But this is too precious for you. It's okay. It was supposed to, to belong to you from the very start. That's a shoot. I wouldn't have known anything if it weren't for you. Not at all. I'm the one who wouldn't have known for anything if it weren't for you. Well, good luck. In the end, I couldn't tell him that story. That boy may resent me later on, but right now the problem is the test coming up soon. What is that story, dog? That boy may, may resent me later on? Deja hasn't been in his right mind since he was imprisoned, but that boy really is the one that Arlene prophesied. He will definitely show us a miracle. Come on, come on, next page, next page. I gotta, dude, I gotta see the ignition of these two weapons. Yeah, I met him. That's right, to let him take the test. I'm not sure it will be tough, of course, but I'll just have to trust him. What are you talking about? What? She activated two 13 months at once? Bro, I, got, I, I gotta see it, bro, I gotta see it. The 13 months ignition? Is that the one that Kuraka told me about? Gwen? What the heck is that? Look, look, at, look at Yuri, bro. Look at the blades. Princess? Yo, the eyes closed, bro. It's like she, she, she's, 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 she's experienced tranquility, dog. Something's not right. What the heck's going on, bro? Dude, this just... It's just... Okay, bro, it's hockey. It's flipping hockey, bro. Hold on, man. Where's my hat at? Like, I, I need a Santa hat for this, bro. This is cool. Where's my hat at, man? Yo, she activated both, bro. Look at her. Look at I always love to look at this panel, bro. Bro, I feel so. Look at, look at, look at that massive hole. She seems like she's totally out of her mind. What on earth has happened? This is incredible. Doesn't she seem a bit strange? My body's recovering. If that dwarf did not stop it, I would have been blown away. This is really dangerous. Ugh, I have to escape. Whoosh. What are you? Sanchez's true form unleashed. How can Walcott's body not recover? What the hell did you do? And then she just. Whoosh. She blocked my attack so easily? Or saw Sanchez. Usually it's coming back at me. Excuse me. Sanchez! What the? And you just see her, bro. She just stops it. And obliteration. Obliteration. Get him out of here, bro. She one shot. Look at I thought you guys were immortal. You sure die a lot more easily than I thought. <laughs> Dude, Berserk, Bone Yuri. That's so refreshing. I felt the, the outside air in ages. Wait, what? I thought that that's so refreshing. I felt the outside air in ages. What? Oh, well, well, I'm, I'm confuzzled. Hold on, hold on. He, he's dead? I never know. Parts in the castle are, are badly shaken up as well. There's no thought about it. That's the one. If I can just get to her, I can escape. Let's go. At that moment, a passage in Grande Jaw's castle. It's so quiet. Does that mean the 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 Jaw guy really lives here? Yeah. If we just if we head inside just a bit further, you'll see where he lives. Is that is the giant lizards that, that live here? They're usually docile but vicious towards intruders. I will deal with them. They are scared of light. They might not be immortal like leeches, but they swarm on you if you attack them, so it'd be best to drive them away. Let's go. Thanks, we would have been in, in big trouble if it weren't for you, Mata. Don't mention it. Mata's been here before. Does that mean you came with him? 
Cockney? I'm not sure. I have almost no memories of my past. I was my memory somewhere and came back to life when Mata found me. I've heard a bit of, from Mata about my past, but I don't remember exactly what caused me to lose my memories. What I know for sure is that some name, someone named Heljo was hunting me down. And for that same reason, part of my soul was absorbed by the picture of the red light. So I was able to leave this place. Your soul in your picture? Yeah, I don't know how my soul ended up in my picture, but because of that, my soul was able to escape from the spirit room. Uh, having found out about that, Heljo thought that I was able to put peop people's souls into pictures. So he captured me and ordered me to draw his portrait, but I refused. Angered by this, he sold he sold the red light, or he sold the rest the red light to the outside world. Why didn't you draw his portrait? I just don't like drawing when someone forces me to. <laughs> hey man, hey, that hey, it it is. I understand. I I definitely understand. Even when it comes to like making videos, when I feel like somebody's forced me to make a video, it's just gonna make me not want to make a video. It's just the rebellious out and like the rebellious side, you know, of your body. Just so you know, I've I've never seen the completed version of that picture with my own eyes. That picture is is already gone after I lost my memories and awoke again. A part of me feels empty after losing that picture. So if I find all the pieces of that picture and complete it, I feel like this empty spot in my heart will be filled, and the memories of my past will come back. Maybe those monstrous eyes will go back to normal. Your eyes? Actually, I can see both the future and the present. In the same field of vision, I can both see the present a few seconds into the future. This man's caught a curry, bro. For example, I might see a person, a person jumping and then falling a few seconds later. Of course, I can almost completely block it if if I try not to see it. But I'm forced to see it at, at important moments. People all envy, envy this ability and try to use it. But to an artist like me, this ability is a nuisance. Drawing means capturing a single woman on a fixed canvas, right? Yo, that's a good point, man. No matter what I draw, it'll be a distorted version of space-time. When I focus and try to draw something, and I see the present and future together. These eyes are a curse to me. Wow. What an interesting person to give an ability like that to. It's so fascinating. Long ago, as I was climbing this tower, the girl who happened to end up on the same team as me asked me to draw her. She was a really good person, I needed, and I needed a model, so I agreed. She had a round face and was always smiling. I wanted to draw the smile of hers in a picture. So I picked up my pencil in order to capture that moment, but at that moment, her face changed into her, her face in the future when she would be writhing in pain from a needle that impaled her neck. Wow, can you imagine seeing that, bro? The moment that I shouted to her in surprise, a needle came flying and penetrated her neck. She died right there on the spot. I found out later that she and the other teammates had planned to use the picture as bait to kill me and steal the items that I was carrying. When I saw the future and shouted, one of the teammates missed his aim and the needle ended up hitting her. Wow, man. That's crazy, dog. Someone said that I survived because I'm able to see the future, but I don't think so. I just want to see the present as it is. If I get killed by a needle flying at me, I want to appreciate her smile with a sense of pure beauty. Even if, even if it's fake, I'd like to draw that moment. That is fascinating, man. Whether the past, f present, or future, I think that it's most valuable when you're standing in that moment. Living my life based on the past me without knowing the future me. That's what matters most to me right now. I gotta save that. Yo. That's an amazing, amazing, amazing piece of dialogue. Let's go look for it together, since you're helping me, Hockney. Once I finish my business here, I'll help you look for your picture. You don't need to do that. It's all right. I'm actually in a similar position to you, so I'd like to help you. And I'm sure that my friends will also want to help you. Friends? Thanks. Do much. You're helping me too, Hockney. Yeah, Hockney. We're here. Right over there is where De Deja lives. The sound of a waterfall? I can sense it. The thorn fragment is definitely inside there. Look at that. Look at that person, bro. Are these intruders? sense it the fragment is definitely inside there hey can we stay behind now well actually i'm kind of scared grandly jaw is terrifying to lowly creatures like this plus we finished showing you the way isn't that right hockney but you've come all this way that's why i'd like to stop here <laughs> this part up ahead is definitely going to be dangerous so there's no reason for you guys to go Macho, what's got any of you all of a sudden give up bam who is that who is that well soon white and crockle will be here forget about obtaining the second thorn fragment rachel what in the flying flag, Nards? <sighs> what even is this series, bro? Like, what am I supposed to do with this series, bro? This is the place. If you head inside here, you'll find a path that splits in the spirit room. Follow me. This, oh, this is leading up to that. Damn it. How did things end up like this? One hour before the arrival of Yuri Jihad. So that this is the thing that that the intruders are here after. 
What was that announcement just now? It was Helger, the ruler of this place. He seems to be up to something. Helger, why would he make an announcement like that? Judging from his reaction before, he doesn't seem like he has a thorn fragment. Is he planning on lying to draw them in and then finishing them off? Don't worry about that. For, for your revival must come first. White, come with me. Man, dude, that's right. And then he, he's going to come back into the fray as well, man. We're going to lead the way to the spirit room or wherever. I'm already looking forward to seeing me back in my ultimate form. Sure. It doesn't matter whether or not Helljo has a thorn fragment because while you guys are fighting, I'm going to take over your souls. The thorn fragment is here? Really? I wonder. And it feels like it's setting up a trap. What's this? Hockney is heading to the spirit room with Bam. The spirit room? We have to go there. What? Hockney's going to the spirit room. Bam must be with him, which means that the thorn fragment must also be there. We don't know where that place is. We have to find out at all costs. Bam must be in the spirit room. What's that? Drew Viola Grace is in the spirit room? Excellent. Oh my god. Bro. This, dude, this is madness. What am I supposed to do, coach? White Karaka, there's good news. Drew Viola Grace appears to be in the spirit room that we're heading into. Which means as soon as I recover my power, I'll be able to wipe that little brat off the face of the earth. Hmm. Well, how do you guys know where Viola's heading? Let's make a deal. I'm in contact with one of the executives of this, of this place. He knows where the spirit room is. If you guys want to go to the spirit room, we'll take you with us. In return, tell us where Viola is. How does that sound? I think this is a very peaceful proposal. All right. Ten minutes before the arrival of Yuri Jihad, passage of the North City. I have a bad I feeling. I, I feel bad leaving the castle at a time like this. But these guys said they would tell me to get out of here if I showed them the way. I'm not betraying Hell Joe. I'm doing this for his sake. If Croc ends up capturing Bam before he finds a thorn, I'll be in serious hot water. I have to get I have to get to Bam before these guys make him run away. At least if Emily receives Hockney's signal. Vile must have gone then there in search of the thorn fragment. This is a completely unexpected opportunity. This is my chance to get both him and the thorn at once. It's this way. The path gets gets complicated starting from starting here, so follow me carefully. Here we go. Emily's Emily received Hockney's signal. Goes right in. Not. Leaves. What the flag nerds? What's going on? She must have twisted her ankle. I'll just put her in my suitcase so you go ahead. Very well. We've wasted time for nothing. Rachel? She's out. She's running, bro. She's jetting. I'm gonna do it if I cut across. I have to get to the place where Bam is before those guys. The present. Right now, Yura may, may be able to buy time by lying to them about your position, but Grok will be here soon. If he catches you, you'll lose the thorn fragment. If you retreat from here, they won't be able to get the thorn fragment. So run away. Rachel, the thorn fragment? The wrong, isn't that what Helgel was looking for? Who is this girl? Do you know her? Yes. Bam. Rachel, I'm sure the reason that she's telling me to run away is not because she's worried about me. Rachel is worried that Karaka will steal the thorn. That's why she's trying to get me to run away. If I do as Rachel says and give up on the whole thing, will I be able to return the way that things were before? I would be so happy if that were possible. Would you, Rachel? But Rachel, now I can no longer go back. Rachel, I'm going. What do you mean you just give you'll die? Just give up? No. There's a reason that I have to go. Don't try it, my dog, bruh. Let's go. Sorry to drag you into this, but they won't let you guys but they won't let you guys go if they find us. But put the jaws in there. Come here. And they set off flying. And Rachel tries to stop them. I ask you what the reason is, Bam! Here we go. Tell me. You came here and met the watercolor princess, didn't you? What did she tell you? Tell me! What did she say to you? Did she tell you about Arlene Grace? Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yo, bro, I'm sweating harder than and then I, I'm sweating just as hard as for Kaido, bro. I heard about someone who might be my mother. Nah, I don't think I'm sweating as hard as Kaido. At first, for Kaido, I legitimately was sweating bullets. But anyway, I heard about someone who might be my mother. She said that she ran away from the tower, thinking that the place was where where we were was paradise. But Rachel, the place where we were wasn't really paradise, was it? What would you know about that place? You're right, I don't know as much as you, but I know very well that you absolutely despise that place. The place was like paradise to me because you were there. But whether it's hell or paradise, I can't go back there again. So I'm gonna find it. A real paradise. And he demolishes the lighthouse. They will make everyone in this place happy. And along the way, Jihad, FUG, and the ten great families, along who gets, anyone who gets in my way is nothing but an enemy. I'm not going back anymore, Rachel.
Rachel. I'm gonna gather all the torn fragments, climb the tower, get the key, and open the door that leads to the final floor on this tower. Because there must be something on the other side. Yo, this man just cut a hellacious promo, dog. This man said, Jihad, F.U.G., the Ten Great Families, anyone who gets in my way is nothing but an enemy. I'm not going back anymore, Rachel. I'm going to gather all the thorn fragments, climb the tower, get the key, and open the door that leads to the final floor of this tower. Don't be ridiculous. Why would you do such a thing? Do you think you're some kind of hero? They're going to show off. You're, you're, you're talking about a world that has nothing to do with you. Just give up, stay in that place, and wait for me like before. It's mine. For ages, I've... Rachel, look at him, look at his eyes. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, it's like he's finally found the resolve within himself to go up there himself. No longer chasing after her, but now he's doing it for a purpose, bro, for his purpose. And she can't believe it. Yo, that was crazy. That girl's some pretty extreme stuff before. Are you just gonna leave her? Yeah. No, the tea. The tea. Of course he's crying, bro. Do you know how much it hurt him to say that shit? Man, dude. Wow. With just one panel, bro, you were able to see. That is the true show and not tell, man. How much it hurt him to say that junk, bro? Who the hell? My name is Grandy Ja. What purpose has brought you all here? Look at this, dude. You intruders. Ex Lord of North City, Grandy Ja. And already back to 20%, man. Grand, Nor Grand Lord of North City, Grand Dili. Lord Dija. Well, you see, I came in order to find the thorn fragment left behind by Henry. What, the thorn fragment? Do you work for Joe? No, I. What's this feeling? You're back, my eyes. What? Grand Dili, I told you they were coming, didn't I? My eyes would deliver my message and bring us a savior. How could you not recognize my eyes? Sorry, Lord Dija. Well, well you, you stranger who has come here with my eyes, you're worthy. I will not allow you to take the test. Really? That's right, you must be worthy if you came with my eyes. So I will let you take the test. Your eyes, what does that mean? Let me take that test too. Rachel as well. Let me take the test too, I'm worthy too. I've, I've dreamed of walking this path for ages. But I'm the one who brought that guy here. This guy's nothing more than a thief who's trying to steal something that belongs to me. So I think I'm far more worthy of having the thorn. But girl, I sense an evil energy coming from you. I mean, I have eyes. But I can sense the chaos emanating from your soul. I think she, I think she deserves a chance too, Lord Deja. Bam. She has the right to receive a chance to let her and me both take the test. Rachel brought her life on the line to come all the way here. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have made it this far. Please let her take the, the test too, Lord Deja. Bam, what are you up to? Fine. But she won't be able to pass the test if she's not the true owner of the thorn anyway. I'll let both of you take the test. And whichever one of you wins will find the location of the thorn fragment. The test that I'm going to give you. What the heck is that? It's to punish my enemy, hell yo. And rescue my imprisoned, my imprisoned brother, Grande Sa. And now we're back to Yuri. So the test is to, is to punish Joe. And then rescue the imprisoned Grande Sa. And then we're back at Yuri. Who's using two ignition weapons, bro? You thought you could trick me on such a trick? How ridiculous. Tell me right now, otherwise your life will be dangerous next time. Where is Juvile Grace? Oh my, bro, this series, bro. This series is madness. Sorry, what did you just say? The kid's name is Heljo. He betrayed and trapped my brother Desa and became the ruler of the South City. He's a shameless, ruthless bastard who, con who conquered the holes and abuses his power. If you guys really are saviors worthy of obtaining the Thorn Fragment, you, you will be able to punish Heljo and bring peace to the South City. So if you defeat Heljo and free my brother, 
I will take the location of the Thorn Fragment that you want. It feels like he's using the as an excuse to get us to solve his own problem. This is ridiculous. Based on what I heard on the way here, Joe is so powerful that not even Karaka takes him lightly. He gives an army of immortal warriors and he himself seems to be immortal too. How are we supposed to defeat Joe? So before you guys got here, a suspicious person appeared in the Joe's castle. I was sure that she had something to do with the savior. This is her. Yuri? So you do know her. <laughs> She's killing Joe's immortal servants. <laughs> She's both ignition weapons out at the same time. You're driving Joe's castle in a state of terror. But it's too much for her to handle by herself. I predicted that, I predicted that a savior would appear before me. Now use her energy to charge into the castle right now. Defeat Joe and release these our saviors. Go, go, saviors. He's definitely, he's definitely using us to deal with his own problem. But with Yuri being there, would we be able to help? Kill Joe! What the hell? If Yuri Jihad is helping out, I'm going to total disadvantage in this mission. Why is it that every time, every time, bam, for now come this way? I'll give you some more details in our room. Oh my. But Yuri, she looks kind of strange. The enemy's dead. Kun, can you hear me? Did Sasha did you get in there safely? I made it inside while she distracted the enemy. This place is in, extreme, is in a state of extreme chaos. The guards are totally panicking. They're probably flustered by the fear that they could die too. Yo, the hockey, bro. They were shook. All right, princess and Norsey, prepare the bong bong. Let's go, bong bong. Some crazy broke in the castle. Let's go. Okay. Is this the right way? The place that we then that with a switch that opens the door leading to the place where they saw is trapped? It's based on the map that has been passed down to us, I'm absolutely certain. If you push that switch, the secret passage is open to which leads to the prison. Well, that's probably where Joe locked up Desa. Is that Joe's castle passed with the switch? Those guys. They look like they're guarding the switch. Inside Joe's castle. It's kind of hot in here. Desa rescue team. Be be careful, the enemies here don't die. Uh, as soon as they popped out, you mentioned them. What should we do? Those bastards don't die. Leave them to me. And a score. Yo, yo, that, that ability's beast, man. We can just pass pass by without killing them. How convenient. Inside the Joss castle, the Joss chamber. I'm sorry. I feel bad at asking you for a favor as soon as we meet. This is just an inf insult to you, saviors. The Joss feels desperate. Not at all. It's okay. Actually, his mind has taken over after Desa was defeated by Joe. He never used to be like that. I'm so sorry. Seriously, don't you have to apologize so much? So, you two are still regulars, right? I know, that I can tell because I used to be a ranker. Like this is far too great of a test for you regulars. All of Deja believes that you have some kind of special power, of course. We don't like to tell you the location of the Thorn Fragment. But since Deja never told me the location of that Thorn Fragment, I'm truly sorry. Is that a habit? There are that kind of people in, the, in this world. What are you going to do, Rachel? Are you going to go and defeat the hell? Dude, I can't believe this is happening, bro. They're like, these two are actually working together on a mission. Are you going to go and defeat Joe? I don't have a choice. I won't be able to find out where that thorn fragment is unless I defeat him. And you don't seem like you'll give up no matter how tough the enemy is, isn't that right? Well, that's true. It bothers me that Yuri's in there and she looks kind of strange. So why are you two leaving it up to us to deal with Joe? You both look really powerful. As far as I know, you're immortal. Well, actually, Joe, a long time ago in the hall, he found a monster. A hideous monster that devours the immortals to grow. What? In the entrance of Joe's castle. Good will God die. This is not what I expected. And that crazy bastard Joe brought a monster into the castle. Who needs strength or power? I have to escape to somewhere safe. What are you doing? Fabregas. Joe! I left you in charge of guarding the secret passage. What are you doing here? Well, you see, Master Joe, you weren't trying to run away, were you? Well, of course not. Never. Now then, then go and fight right now to prove it. Huh? But the enemy can kill us. Aren't you supposed to put your life on the line in battle? But I'm not. I'm, I'm used to fighting opponents that I know I can beat. I said go and fight her immediately. But I... I don't want to die. Yo, look at that thing, bro. It looks like that hit the thing itself is the thorn fragments. Look at those needles. And you're finally showing your true colors. It's all your fault, you crazy bastard. If you want to go fight it and go do it, you go do it yourself. Here we go. He gets obliterated like a shot. How dare you shake that filthy tail at me? Look at those. Look at that face, bro. It smells like Carnegie. You're going to pay for your sin. Goes right in. Joe, the monster that he found in the holes, the red Thriasa. Thrisa. Thrisa. The monster known as one of the top predators, predators in the tower with a name like a divine sea fish. Please forgive me, Joe. As a tremendous predatory ability which is so powerful that it can even cancel our mortality spell. The monster's teeth can chew up our body the moment its teeth bites us. Are in our body and our body is paralyzed and our and our power is absorbed. 
So once he catches us, we, we become completely helpless prey. He is our greatest natural enemy. Of course, he can't kill us that way, but it's almost impossible for us to recover power. Please have mercy on me, sir. The, the ability e exits e equally in Joe's teeth as well as in his right hand. Joe took advantage of that ability to take away the power of the residents, South City residents, and, and distribute that power to other men. Have you all forgotten why you swore to be loyal to me, you fools? It looks like a few more little rats have entered the castle. I will go outside. I'll return your power if you bring them to me, Fardigas. Yes, Joe. In addition, Joe can, man Joe can manipulate the hole to neutralize his opponent's Shinsu attack. He's basically invincible. Are we supposed to fight a monster like that? And that's, I think that it's impossible too, but Deja believes if you really are the owner of the Thorn Fragment, you must have such remarkable power that you can easily defeat someone like Joe. But at the same time, passes the spirit room. Tell me where is Chu Fiol Grace. Well, if you can't tell me yourself, I can just use my abilities as a scout to search your mind. What's going on? Are they, are they against each other now? I don't even know what's happening. But I feel like I had better not let Karaka know where Viola is. Oh, crap. I can't move a muscle at this rate. You'll find out everything. That's enough. Hey, that's not right. Judging your girl's hair like that. What's going on? It's so rude. What? <laughs> is it boys, you know? No. No, no, it can't be. It can't be, bro. It can't be. You always see the hat, bro? Nah, bro. No, bro. I just followed some perfume sent him right down here. And that happens to be a damsel in distress. Look! <laughs> Yo, it's over, bro. It's over. This is the best arc in the series. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I don't care. This is madness, bro. This is madness. <laughs> It's over, bro. I feel sorry for everyone that comes in between this man and his goal, bro. I feel sorry for them, bro. I feel sorry for them. I'm destined to be every girl's hero, aren't I? <laughs> You're Rick Mazzino? It's over. It's over. It's over, bro. Who's stopping him? Who is stopping him, bro? We have Yurik Mazzino and Karaka face to face. Oh man, I saw some perfume center ran down here and there happens to be a damsel in distress. I knew it. I'm destined to be every girl's hero, aren't I? This man, the goat! Yurik Mazino, bro. What's that beast doing here? Oh, aren't you the companion of Viola that I saw before? Nice to see you. What's up, my friend? Don't act like you know me, I'm scared. <laughs> Yo, man, you should feel great. You should feel fine, but feel protected. You know what I'm saying? Does he know Vile? Who the hell is he? Look, I've seen this, that guy somewhere before, but that's strange. Before that, he came here alone. He must clearly be more powerful than a ranker. I don't sense any power coming from him. That's because his abilities are so far beyond you that you can't even sense it. You can't even sense it, bro. And, and it looks like that anklet works. Three minutes earlier, the sky, the sky floor of death. Put this on before you go inside. What's that, an anklet? It's an anklet that will prevent other people from recognizing your power. It's transported here by air, especially, so that Garam wouldn't recognize you. With this anklet on, you will seem like a regular person with less power than a ranker. Although your power won't actually decrease, of course. You're so powerful that the anklet will break even if you use just 5% of your power, so be careful. But does it have to be silver? You see, the associate leader said that it has to be the design. Doesn't it suit you perfectly? On oh, that boss, give me one more message to deliver to you. It's very valuable, so do not break it. Garam will dump you if she ever finds out. Dump you? Oh, hold on. So Garam, Garam and him got a thing going on? Is that what I'm saying? Is that what I'm hearing, bro? And those bastards cursing my love life. So it's a pretty good handicap. If I have to fight these, it'll just 5% of my pop. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 5%. 
I overestimated you guys. At your level, I won't even need... <laughs> at your level. I won't even need 5%. 1% will be plenty. So, how would you like to fight this one? My finger. This man said, this man said my finger's good enough for you, bro. Just my finger, you know? Don't be so arrogant. This is not such an easy target, baby. If you can withstand this finger, I'll give you around six wings. Ghost right. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? This big one finger! One flipping finger. This man, this man proceeded to say 1%, 1%, and then he takes his finger and just goes like this. And when he goes like this, it felt like it was a Kamehameha, a spirit bomb, a, a, a um, a Rasengan, a Getsuga Tensho, a Jajan Ken. I mean, it was everything. And one finger, bro. That's all it was. It was one finger. It was the finger book of doom. If you guys watch WCW, when Kevin Nash hit Hogan and he was down, or when Hogan hit Kevin Nash and he was down, and that was it. Finger book of doom. This man, you recognize, you know, as the finger book of doom. Do you see the DC? Yo, man. I, I can't put on my glasses, bro. I, I, I think I'm gonna break them. Yurik Maz, bro, look at this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta read this again, bro. This man, this is an easy, such an easy target to pick. This man is in a hoodie, bro. A hoodie and a snap. A snap out of your boxing. And he, oh, look at this obliteration. Karaka gets sent flying back. It's like a nuke went off. If you two go to hell, Joe's gal. Good Christ, bro. Yo, man, this is crazy, bro. Because of the entrance behind me, you can I can't I can't see. I can't see. I'm going blind, man. You can't enter Hellto's castle. Not even Hel Joe knows about um, Shinsu Path connects to this entrance. Shinsu Path connects to this entrance is a secret path by Deja and Desa, and it's con and it's connected not only to Hellto's castle but also to several places in the South City. And that's our best way to of infiltrating this castle. Then we should leave immediately. Well, without, without any kind of backup plan? But my, my other companions may be in danger if Yuri is there. I don't know why, but I'm going to have to hurry, Rachel. So you've managed to stay alive this far because of that super bravery of yours? Does this Joe guy have any weaknesses? He can't just barge in there without a plan. I'm, so, I'm sorry, we're so afraid of him. There's no way for us to know. They're so afraid of him that they don't even know if he has a weakness, bro. Or if you free day saw from his apprentice, but get him to join you and then borrow the, up the, the power of Deja's eyes, there may be a way. Deja's eyes? The moment that Deja and Deja saw Sarenri with their own eyes, they have possessed mysterious abilities. Especially Deja's far-seeing eyes allowing them to see the future. Once, when Joe invaded the South City, uh, thanks to the power of Deja's eyes and the help of a mysterious woman, he was unable to advance any further and had, and had to retreat back to the South City. If we have the power of Deja's eyes, which brought you here, I'm sure that it will help you in defeating Joe. From here, you mean Hockney? Yes, yes, you mean, yes, he means Hockney. Excuse me, Lord Deja? Why do you call me your eyes? 
Obviously, that's because those two eyes of yours are mine. You lost your eyes and came to this place. You came to see me and begged, begged me to give back your eyes. But you're already immortal, so I couldn't restore your eyes. And I gave, and, and I agreed to give you my eyes in exchange for doing me a favor. You, do you really not remember anything? I don't. Well, that's strange. You managed to bring the savior in here in that state of yours. Oh my god, my camera's about to die, bro. Have you also forgotten my, my message to bring me the princess of the deep-colored sea? I definitely want to remember that message. That's why I told, I told it to Emily, but I don't remember anything like that. It's happening to me. And do you know who stole my eyes? How can you not remember that? I heard that Joe took your eyes. Joe. When you, when you refused to cooperate in helping him with the Thorn Fragment, Joe was enraged and supposedly plucked off your eyes. Joe tried to use those eyes to find the Thorn Fragment, but failed. You've been rescued and, and you and brought you to me. Okay, you don't remember any of that. You really are strange. What? Hockney. I heard from Lord I heard from Lord Deja that I, that I've also been here before. Yeah, before with me, so it was true. Yeah, I brought you here after Joe stole your eyes, so that you might be able to restore your eyes in the spirit room. That's what I hoped. When I, when you and I first met we were Joe's subordinates. After conquering the South City at some point, Joe started looking for something called a thorn fragment. It's like now nah, I was a regular parasite who was in charge of guarding the outside entrance. I received an order from the top to take you and go look for the thorn fragment. Apparently, you had become one of Joe's subordinates. After happening to find a thorn fragment before, my mission was to carry you around in my giant leash to look for the thorn fragment. You were an unusual guy who liked to draw, and you always told me that you wanted to leave the floor of death. Your wish was to travel the outside world with friends and, and draw pictures. Hell, Joe promised me I promised that he would let you leave if you found the thorn fragment. It felt like a downright lie. But if we came, but we became a team and looked around for the thorn fragment, and we ended up finding it. But after seeing it, it became sort of strange. He said that the picture which you had drawn there contained your soul. You went to see Joe and, and said that you wouldn't help him anymore. Joe got extremely angry, then plucked out your eyes and stole your picture. After he stole your eyes, you never got them back. I carried you and arrived in this place after he had stolen your eyes and abandoned you. The job was shocked when he saw you. He said that, he, that you would be able to leave the floor of death. He proposed to give you his own two eyes. It seems for you doing him a single favor. He told me that it was a secret, so I didn't get to hear what the favor was. But it appears that you accepted Jasper's proposal. And, but a problem occurred the next day when you left the castle. Because you had received the just eyes, you collapsed and were unconscious. When you woke several days later, you could hardly remember any of the past. Not even the promise that you made with Deja. I thought it was better this way. So I didn't go back to Deja, and I helped you to leave the floor of death. Although I almost got killed, well, caught and killed by Hell Joe in the process, of course. Why would you do that? I wanted, I wanted you to live a normal life where you could forget about everything and uh, leave the floor of death. And travel around the tower with friends. So that's precisely what you had dreamed of. So in order for you to dream, to, to live your dream life, I thought it would be better for you to forget all your memories of this place. Wow, man, what a great friend, bro. What a great friend, dog. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me, Mata, but I realized something after leaving this place. As long as I have this hole in my heart, no life will ever be able to feel happy to me. I'm definitely being punished, punished for something important. Hockney, let's go and see Joe, Mata. Hockney? I read that my picture is in the South City too, so if I go there, I'll definitely be able to end all of this. I'm gonna go back to Joe to get my eyes back and find my final piece of my picture. Because that's the reason that I came back to this place. That's what happened. I see, so that's the secret behind Hockney's eyes. But Hockney shouldn't get involved in something so dangerous. What are you talking about, Bam? We need, we need every bit of that luck that we can get. I put, I put the picture that he's looking for in my lighthouse. It'll definitely come in handy if we bring him with us. She has it? You're going to see Joe, right? He's, I'm coming with you. Let me let me come with you too. I know I'll, I know that I'll be able to help you. I'll come to you since I'm immortal. Leave anything dangerous to me. Did you hear? This, did you hear the story about your eyes and Lord Dijah? Yeah, I want to get my eyes back. Plus, I also have to find the picture that would contain my soul. I have a reason to meet Joe, even if it costs me my life. All right, then I'll lead the way. I have pages to ask of of our two saviors. You both seem to be competitors, but Joe is not someone who you'd be able to, to to defeat while competing against one another. Would you just cooperate at least while you're fighting him? They have to cooperate? Pro dog. You seem like you're on the same team as the lady who appeared in the castle, so you should join her. And draw Joe's attention to yourself. And while you do so, Rachel and I enter the castle and rescue Desa. And once we rescue him, we'll, we'll join you right away and defeat Joe together. That sounds okay to me, but what about you, Rachel? The complaint's here, so I can't do it on my own. But Skarak is chasing us here. We better get out of here soon. Do you have any problems with my request? Nope. The job probably also won't want to go if I tell him. Wait a bright time before he notices. And let's head out to Joe's castle. 
The same point when the entrance to Joe's castle. Run. Oh, there's no chance to leave. I knew it. She's totally messing around with Sanchez. Yo, she's a sicko, bro. I'm just fine as a challenge for me, Joe. Oh my god, and my camera's about to die, bro. This is greatness, bro. There's just so much amazing stuff going on. You've got Yurik Mazino versus Karaka happening, bro. And you have Yuri Jihad completely out of her mind, man. With two ignited weapons going off at the same time. And in the midst of all of this, you have Rachel and Bam forced to work together. It's cold. I got... I, I, I wish I had a limited battery, man. <laughs>